Hey there, Caleb Wojcik of DIY Video Guy here. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Zakuto Marauder, which is a little run and gun kit here that you can use with any kind of camera. I'm gonna talk about what I like about it, how you can set it up, and how it works with mirrorless cameras, DSLRs, all that kind of stuff. So whether you have one of these and you're trying to figure out how to use it better, or you're looking for a little rig you can use to stabilize your camera while you're filming, we're gonna dive into using it. So the Marauder is really great for when you're out and about, you're maybe doing a travel shoot, or you just don't have time to set up a tripod or a monopod to get what you need, but you want a more stable shot than what just hand-holding your camera would give you. So this here is the Marauder. It has a hand grip on it. It has a stock or a butt that you put up against your chest. And then it has a, a rod here that you attach your camera to with a base plate. Now, this one actually has the extender on it because I'm using an RX10 Mark III here that has an EVF that I can look through. So if I want to actually have this right up to my eye, then I need this little extender piece here. I'll show you in a little bit how to take the extender off for a DSLR or to use a Zakuto Z Finder to look at the back of the LCD when you're shooting. But there also is the Enforcer, which just doesn't have this hand grip. So for that one, you just wouldn't have this hand grip at all. You would still have this against you and you would just have both hands on the camera. But this one's nice because I feel like you get a little bit more stabilization this way. And if you don't want that other hand on the camera adding shake, you can just keep it down here and operate with one hand at a time. But I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this on the Zakuto Gorilla tripod plate here. And uh, we'll show some B-roll of that and talk about that a little bit later. But this is the basic setup here. So you're gonna have to fold in the different segments with the little clickers here. And then the harder one is this boom arm, but then it folds in nice and small there. It's about a foot long, a few inches wide. It'll fit into a tripod spot or even just on top of all of your gear. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice tool to have. And so let's say you're locked down for a tripod shot. You're using this additional attachment here, this gorilla plate here, and then you want to actually set up a, a handheld shot. You can flip this out. You can flip up this section here and actually get it set up fairly quickly. So in a few seconds, you'll get, you'll get better at it. As you practice, loosen up your camera, bring it over, put it on there. So versus a, a bigger rig where you have to maybe change base plates or something like that for your camera, in a few seconds, you can be set up to go handheld and use this while you're walking around and then lock it down again really quickly. So to use with a mirrorless camera with an EVF or some kind of viewfinder you wanna look through, this extender piece will bring it a little bit closer to your face. Without this extender piece, you're probably going to want a Z finder to look at the back of the LCD screen to get a better look. But what's nice is that this thing's pretty adjustable. So this ball head here on the hand grip can be adjusted to a more ergonomic position. So you really wanna play with that and get it locked in. As well as the stock here at the end has two little bolts that you can change the angle of as well. So you can really dial in the exact comfort and location of where these things are hitting on you. So I really like how customizable this thing is. And now let's talk about how I would set it up for different camera bodies. So for a mirrorless camera like this RX10 here from Sony or a GH4 or something from an A7 series, something like that, if you have a good EVF that you can look through, an electronic viewfinder, you're gonna wanna bring that right in. And so I like to have this extender plate on. You can also, you know, you could hold it out at you know, a few inches away from your body and just use the LCD screen, but then you're gonna have to take the extender off to do that. So there are a few different options, you know, with a Z finder on the back, using the EVF, using the extender, not using the extender. So really when you get this thing, you're basically just gonna need to play around with the placement of the camera, how far away it is from you, and adjust some of the handles. So if you're shooting with a DSLR and you don't have an EVF as an option because it's an optical viewfinder and when you're shooting in video mode, it's completely black in there. You know, you could use this for photos if your photos aren't steady or something like that. But if you're gonna shoot with a DSLR and you need the LCD screen for video, using the extender here is actually a little too close. So we're gonna go ahead and drop it. 
on the ground. <laughs> I'm going to take off the extender. We're going to pick it back up. And then there are a couple options of what you can do here. So there is one placement. So I can see the back of the LCD just fine. Um, I don't have a Z finder kind of like to block out light. So if I'm shooting indoors, this is a pretty decent option for getting it handheld and steady. Let me lock it down. But the other option is to put a Z finder on it here and attach it. So that locks it in, remove the little eyepiece here, tighten up the hand grip so it doesn't fall. And now here, this is a more comfortable option for me to shoot with. I can actually hold it down with my eye, look through the LCD, and I like if I don't have an EVF, like this is the next best thing, you're really just magnifying the back of the screen, blocking out the light. There's a little diopter on here to get it uh, really in focus for you when you're looking through. And this is how, minus the rig, this Z Finder is how I shot my first set of videos so I could really punch in the focus to 5x or 10x, make sure I was locked in and focus, could really see what was happening. And this is a really solid option if you're shooting with the DSLR. So whether you're using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera or something else, something to be aware of is that each of the different cameras have different size screens. So you're going to want to make sure that you buy the correct uh, screen cover for the Z Finder if you go that route because there are different sizes when you're using them with different cameras and different screens. So that's just something else to be aware of too. So now that you know how to set it up on either your DSLR or your mirrorless camera, as well as talking about the tripod plate, which is definitely an attachment that I would buy maybe a couple of so you can have some options. I really like how this thing feels. It's, it's really sturdy. Uh, my one complaint is that I don't usually tighten the hand grip enough. So maybe even during this review, you've seen it slip a little bit. So make sure to tighten that a lot. These two clicks will click in really solid. So you don't really have to worry about those moving around at all but just make sure you're tightening the hand grip when you're using it and you know adjust this part so it fits really well and get the extender if you want to go further to your eye. But this is a solid piece of equipment. It's not that heavy. Um, you know, And what's nice is that you have a few options so you could rest this hand, bring this hand up, rest this arm, and you're still getting a steady shot. And so if you're shooting a lot of handheld stuff and it's too shaky and it's not really looking like you want it to, look into this. It's the Zacuto Marauder or the Enforcer if you don't need the hand grip. It's a really solid option to get some more run and gun style shots, um, just more steady, more cinematic, and it's gonna enable you to do things you couldn't do when you were just holding the camera out by your hands or if you're really, really used to shooting on a tripod, a monopod like I am. I'm excited to play around with this a little bit more and get some more dynamic shots when I'm making my videos. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you've used this rig or others. Let's have a discussion about what kind of stuff you can do with rigs like this. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.